those cradle recognition drills. So, when I'm working this position, and I'm really looking for that cross face cradle, because I'm gonna pin this guy more times in a cross face cradle than any other cradle, all right? Percentage wise. When he fights back into me, because he doesn't wanna be on his elbow, I'll fight back into me hard, right here, whoa. That's my cradle recognition drill. Now I'm clamping down on it. And it's just a matter of what finish, all right? Some of you guys are still struggling on that, that, that kind of sit through, roll through suicide cradle. So when I drive him to a hip a lot of times, and he starts to kind of sit up and get his hips under him, it's head to the mat, but I don't want to be head to the mat behind him. When I dive behind him, I'm pulling this guy on top of me. That's not a good look. So as I get my cradle clamped down, and he starts to sit up, head goes to the mat beside, and I'm pivoting on my head. Notice I'm never putting him on top of me. Then when I get back here, I can start stitching him up. I can even hook that bottom leg again. And come back to this position. But once they sit through and get their head up, it's gonna be really tough for me to drive them back down to that hip. They post their hand, whatever. Lastly, when we talked about it the other day, guys will get a little crafty on this near side cradle try to slip their arm through and we won't recognize it we try to roll them through or get, get 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 the cradle get this guy on his back in the cradle and he posts out on us and beats us there all right so as i'm in this ankle ride attacking this cross face cradle he turns in and i get my near side cradle locked down right here all right if I, i'm driving he sits through right here Right? A lot of times you might pull that arm out in between both of them, right here. Right? If I try to sit through the rope through right here, close down the spot, right here, I'm in big trouble. Okay, so we've got to recognize that this guy pulls that arm out, I can't go to my suicide cradle anymore. Alright, we gotta recognize that stuff. We did it the other day where we had this top cradle right here and he pulled his arm out. Right there, and we just posted our head in the mat, cartwheel over. Trapped his shoulder to the mat, right? It's not the same scenario when he pulls it out on that suicide cradle, right? So I want you to pick one of the positions we worked on today that kind of felt like it was in your 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 skill set, your tool toolbox area, and get some get some really good clean reps with it. Just one position. If you go to one position and transition to one of those other finishes, I'm okay, all right? But get some reps in one of those, all right? Like I said, got got my oldest son a lot of pins with it. 68 pins one season. They weren't all cross face cradles. There were a lot of them. All right? He just kept getting better and better and tighter and tighter, setting more traps, getting get better at feeling those guys and setting them up. Good? Let's go.